and we are back literally two seconds for me and two seconds for you if you're just watching the videos consecutively this is link xgl or lucretius as some of you may know me we're gonna now texture our model so how do we do that well first you need an uh, uh, an image editing software i'm gonna use gimp because i love gimp i'm gonna go up here we're gonna export we want to use this right this is a great template for us to use right great template and by the way if this wasn't obvious enough this is the top bottom front right back left for the head all right that's is you can select them to figure out which is which so hmm, okay those are the both of the arms all right that's the body all right that's the legs oh wait a second what was the shoulders again click okay there it is all right the front is the face is wherever the character is facing remember that and everything should be fine this is the right from the front so that's this side here left from the front this side here top from the front this side here bottom from the front this side here back all the way here simple enough and that's the exact same thing for everything else if we select this same thing here this here is the front right back left top bottom and it's the same thing for all of the models this is how all the models um, UV maps look anyways so we're gonna export this as texture map and we're, I already have a ton of folders here but I'll, this is the diffuse I've made um, just to um, practice I'm gonna delete these delete because it's just practice all right let's call this custom armor oops armor armor diffuse alrighty and by the way this is gonna be our icons that's gonna be the icons for our chest the icons for the helmet the icons for the legs etc because I like these icons anyways save so we're gonna be using GIMP because GIMP is amazing so let's open it up in GIMP and I'm gonna show you my the way I texture now this video is gonna be shorter not short but shorter because my videos tend to be long but um it is gonna be shorter than most uh, of the rest of the videos because I'm just gonna show you what I do and then I'll finish it later and then you'll see the edited version and everything so oops we're gonna go ahead and just uh, let me just let me just where did I save it oh, okay so I'm gonna go here open uh, Luca desktop uh, Minecraft modding tutorial mod uh, assets ah, no it's not this one it is this one assets oh, I have great spelling and here it is here's our stuff let's just let's just let's just delete these right <laughs> this is stuff that I um that I had last for the the setting up this is just this is just other stuff so we're gonna open this Th that's for the practice tutorial basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna call this a uh, base and this is just gonna be the base color of everything now sadly in Minecraft when you see your arm in first person right when you're punching that is a different model completely from well not a different model completely but it's um it's rendered separately from the from the armor model okay so the arm that you see will not show the armor that you're wearing all right if you have long sleeves for your armor it will not show in first person it'll show outside of first person but not in first person keep that in mind when you're modeling because you don't want to have long sleeves if it'll have some discrepancies between first person and third person other players will not notice at all obviously because they don't have first person but your first person you will notice all right keep that in mind so now that we have our base here we're gonna go back to the background we're gonna use this magic wand tool we're gonna select all these alpha spaces okay there we go, all of them selected. We're gonna press Ctrl I to invert them. We're gonna go back into the base. 
we're going to pick a nice green color that I have already selected here. We're going to go into the, the pencil. And we're gonna just going to cover it up. Boom. Covered. Done. Deal. Bada bing, bada boom. Then we're going to change it to the scale to 1. And we're going to pick some nice colors to go along with it. So let's pick something like this. And just remember that it doesn't really matter because I'm going to show you a way that it'll always look Minecrafty. It is not don't <laughs> it's not the best way of doing it but I do it just because I'm just so lazy but it's it, it I think it looks fine then again I have low standards um, for my minecraft models and, and let's let's pick this one whatever okay so now oh man dude this looks like a giant mess well here's the great thing about filters guys <laughs> the pros use this no one else knows about this pick HSV noise done okay C go back into filters you can repeat HSV noise look at this so just press ctrl F like a bunch of times and look how great this looks look at this now we have our green armor look how awesome this is done easy so now we're gonna color in our horn because our horn needs to be our horn's gonna be a little bit white it's gonna be off off um, green but it's gonna be more white so let's add a new layer here let's call this overlay and this overlay is gonna be let's put it at 50 percent for now this here is gonna be white I want it to be white so let's just change this to white and color in this is how I want my horn to be someone white and I want this to be bluish Let's change this to blue. There. And you know what? I'll just show my, the entire process of me creating armor for those who just want to see. And there you go. The other point of this tutorial um, as well, before I keep going, before you're like, oh my goodness, is I'm going to show how to separate the textures from the legs and from the and from the um, the rest of the armor. Because the legs have a different armor than the helmet have a different um, texture as the helmet, the chest, and the legs, and the boots. I mean, the boots, not the legs. The reason for this is just due to the scaling, right? Do you notice how in Minecraft the, the legs are a little bit smaller than everything else? Well, there's a reason for that. It's so the models, you know, don't uh, overlap. They don't want to overlap, right? So the solution to this was to make the legs a little bit smaller, but in doing this, you have to also make a different legs texture. Now, for general use, you could make the chest smaller and everything else bigger. You could make the boots smaller and the chest smaller. You can make anything smaller, anything bigger. You can keep everything the same size for all you care. Right? The point is you need to have two different textures if you want to have, if you want it to work like vanilla Minecraft. If you don't care, you can have one texture for everything right but we'll, we'll get to that in, in coding we're gonna do the vanilla minecraft way so we're gonna just keep everything nice and tidy like that and now we notice that hey well this looks kind of bad um, we need to make sure that we don't remember how I said the the arms don't the arm that you see in first person doesn't show so let's just make let's just cut off um let's oops let's go to your eraser let's just cut off the bottom of the arms because they're not going to show and we don't want discrepancies between first person and third person so we're going to just cut off this part here i'm going to make the sleeves like that oops oh man okay okay yeah there you go uh and we, we can, you can make this straight you can make it jagged it doesn't matter I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it straight. And there we go. Remember these are the arms, these are the legs. Alright. So um now I wanna I wanna make this a different color. So I'm gonna just make sure I get this all off this. And let's go let's make this normal now. And let's use these red colors I have here because I like red. 
and I think it'll look I think um, these these Christmas colors will look nice so let's just make this a little bigger let's do this uh, there you go perfect there you go boom all right back to one a light red can't see this what the hell light red that's too much red that's just all right let's have a darker red all right then we're gonna just grab this and we're gonna select this actually um, we're gonna deselect so we're gonna deselect all this because we don't want this to affect um, this we want we don't want our <laughs> our uh, HSV f um, noise to affect that so let's just control F control left control left control left control left control left control left give that minecraft look <laughs> all right done this are this is this is going to be our texture cool cool now let's get to separating it so let's quickly save this entire diffuse let's export everything flat in it and we're also going to save a copy um in the the gimp editor version so xf i think it's like that so let's save it is xcf there we go replace because we don't want that anymore and now we're gonna go here we're gonna create the legs texture now the legs can start anywhere you want can end anywhere you want it could do anything you want so I'm gonna keep it very vanilla like and actually I'm gonna make the boots go high so I'm gonna select this here this will be um, the boots height so take this out right make this invisible make this big like so right so this taken out part here will be the pants but they're not going to be there because we don't want the pants to be there right we want um we want to put it in a different texture pack and this is where the pants were originally or that's too much um it's these four right here and the boots are going to be really high so there we go this make put put this up to full and this will take off and now we're going to save it as a png as our top layer or as our, our layer one so custom armor custom layer one and we're going to change this to png and flatten so it just flattens everything okay and we're gonna go back and put this back on there we go and instead we're gonna select everything around it delete it all oops so like this delete it all make this dark there's no features on the legs so take those off put this up to full and now you'll notice that this will make the pants like shorts now to be safe technically going back to this you could make the pants longer so I'm gonna do that just to be safe the pants will be long but the boots will be high so select everything around it delete it turn this off turn this off oops make sure this is full we don't want the armor to be see-through do we save as custom layer 2 save say PNG done deal that's all we have to do that's how we separate it right so keep in mind if you want to separate other parts of the armor you can do that you can separate anything you want you don't you even don't have to separate anything if anything you could literally just copy cut the same texture you have for layer one and layer two and then have the pants take on the full pec texture of um, everything this is just to keep it clean if you want to change the size of anything else make sure you have a different texture for it if you want you can have five different textures you know it doesn't matter you can have the same texture okay
next time we're gonna start programming we're gonna start making our classes and stuff and we're finally gonna get to see how our armor looks like with nothing on it with nothing no editing or anything not even the model itself will be in it just just the textures so that'll be next time see you guys